I would like you to apply for Bender's old job and cozy up to this Fry, his best friend. Yeah, and then I'll introduce him to my best friend. Clamp number one! Sorry, buddy. Welcome back, everyone, to more From the Sable Eyes. I'm Mitch, and today we're going to take a look at a deck that can take knockouts without dealing any damage. That's right, it's Guillotine Hug Pincer. Or is it Guillotine Hug? I don't know, I don't speak French. Perhaps you do. Perhaps you could comment down below, is it Guillotine or Guillotine? Um, good luck describing that and just text. Well, that's the name of the attack for Pincer. A really, really decent attack, which for one grass and two colorless energy means that if we flip two coins and both of them are heads, our opponent's active Pokemon is instantly knocked out, which is an incredibly good effect. We just need to make sure we're flipping those coins and getting heads as often as possible. We're going to power up our Pincer by using Cherim and Spring, Vlo uh, Spring Bloom, pardon me, which allows you to get as many grass energies onto your pincer as you'd like, as long as they are in your hand. Uh, and then we're going to use cards like Glimwood Tangle and also the supporter card Will to try and guarantee that double head coin flip. Theoretically, if we play Will and have Glimwood Tangle, uh, Glimwood Tangle, pardon me, in play we have an over 75% chance of instantly knocking out our opponent's Pokemon. But that's, uh, you know... It's not going to happen every time. We have to do our very, very best to try and get it to happen as frequently as possible. This list here is inspired by Dark Phoenix. You might follow him over on Facebook or Twitter. Thank you very much for posting about this one. Hopefully we can get some wins with it, because um, otherwise I'll have been flipping coins for no reason. We've got ourselves a pincer start, and we're up against a Cottony. This could be... Uh, Really good or really bad? We'll grab the Cherubi off of the Great Ball there. The rest of our hand's actually really quite... It's really quite excellent. We've got a Cherim off of the next Great Ball. Let's play another one. Uh, and I like the idea of that Jirachi, so we'll throw that down. Uh, we can put the Air Balloon down on the Jirachi as well, and then we can pass... Um, this hand is really, really good, depending, of course, on what our opponent ends up playing. If they play, uh, the Whimsicott deck, that's a one-prize attacker, this is going to be an incredibly difficult game, and you definitely won't... Ooh! Colossal VMAX, alright, I was about to say, if it's Whimsicott, you won't see it, but it looks like it's Colossal, so we could have a chance. Um, ironically enough, Colossal VMAX has weakness to grass, uh, which is irrelevant for us, because we don't deal damage, we just flip coins. Uh, and hopefully, our opponent throws down two Colossal VMAXs at some point during the game. Now, one of the good things about this Pincer deck is that a lot of the time, your opponent's going to have to deal with one prize attackers, and with decks that aren't ADP, they can sometimes really struggle with that. So, all we need to do is get a little bit lucky at some point here, and we should be fine. Let's, uh, let's play down the Marshadow just in case. We'll play the Will, because you never know. And then we can Dedene. We might be able to steal ourselves a prize or two. Doesn't look like that's going to happen, actually. Um, let's attach... Yeah, we'll attach to the Pincer and then play down a second. Uh, then we can just switch into the Jirachi here. And Dreamy Revelation, we'll try and grab as many good cards as we can. Professor's Research is a good card. Uh, and then we can kind of leave it at that. We don't really mind uh, if our Jirachi gets knocked out here. In fact, if it does... It's actually helping us because it means that there's a VMAX in play. Because the only Pokemon that is on our opponent's side of the field that can realistically take knockouts is the Colossal VMAX. The Cottony is going to evolve into the Item Search or the Trainer Search Whimsicott rather than the attacking one. So that means we don't need to worry about that particular attack. Instead, we can deal with the VMAX Pokemon. The reason I'm talking about that, could you imagine if we've got to deal with a one prize attacking deck whilst we have to flip two coins just to knock our opponent out? It's not going to go particularly well for us. So we do need to make sure that we are playing against VMAXs or Tag Team GXs, which is lucky because they're very powerful at the moment. So, you know, you can get there. I will say this as well, though. Uh, please do not expect to win with Pinsa regularly, um, because not only is the deck inconsistent, but it relies in exclusively on coin flips. So don't sit here and expect it to win all the time. Uh, our opponent hasn't gotten the Cottony out of the active, which is really annoying. I'm just going to Marnie here. We'll make it a little bit awkward for our opponent, maybe draw some more cards for us. And look, we've been given a pretty solid hand. Let's see what we get off Dreamy Revelation. 
Great Catcher and Ordinary Rod. Neither of those particularly useful. I mean, the Ordinary Rod will be useful later. We can Spring Bloom onto a Pinsir. We can attach a Twin. And then, you know what? We may as well just go for it. Start putting the pressure on here. We'll see if we can't get the Guillotine Hug off. And we fail. So, there you go. That 50-50 coin flip not doing the job for us there. Remember as well... Uh, it's a, tw I think it's 25% chance um, on Guillotine Hug or Guillotine Hug uh, if you don't have the stadium because the chances of there being two heads is 25% because um, that's one quarter of the options. Then if you have the, uh, the stadium, that likelihood is doubled, perhaps, or now my math is starting to really fail me. I'm not entirely sure. It is bit, it's better than 25%, but when you can guarantee one of the coin flips, then you're giving yourself a pretty good chance. I mean, like, is it 75%? Probably not. Probably not. With Will, it's actually higher than 75%, I think. But then again, it might not be. I don't know. I'm not a maths person. I don't, I don't do maths. All, all you need to know is that you can knock people out. That's all you need to know. Uh, let's great ball here. We've got a Cherubi, not what I was looking for. Um, we can Dreamy Revelation. I've got the Will and a Grass Energy. I think I need the Grass Energy, right? The Will's gonna have to wait. Uh, let's attach the Grass. We'll play the Glimwood Tangle. We'll retreat into Pinsir. And, uh, let's see if we can't get two heads. Heads? We don't need to flip again. We can just knock that straight out. Thank you very much. And, uh, oh, and we've got a pincer off of the prizes as well. Uh, a supporter? No, twin energy. That's acceptable. I can live with that. Um, that's pretty good, because now we've got a pincer in the hand. Oh, they're going to reset stamp us anyway. I was about to say, we've got a pincer in hand. We've got twin energy. We know we're getting will. All we need is a, is a grass, and, we'll, and we're there. But apparently not. Apparently, they don't, they don't care about that. Whatever. It's fine. Into their second VMAX. So here is our chance to win. All we need to do is flip two heads again. What are the chances of that? Please tell me in the comments. Let me know. Explain the maths to me so that I understand. And whilst you're there, leave a like. And if you do like this kind of stuff, we're getting money, by the way. If you do like this kind of stuff and you want to see more of it, maybe you could subscribe. And maybe you maybe you support the channel in a little bit of more of a monetary capacity, you know? Maybe you think Mitch is doing a really, really good job over there. It's just a shame that he's, that he's unemployed and has no income. You can become a member. Perhaps there's a little join button down here somewhere that you can click and pay $3 a month to support me and the channel. If you'd like, you don't have to. Uh, let's play a pincer and then research. <laughs> Seems fine. I don't know what's happened in this video. It just became a very, very big plug. Oh, man. Okay. Can we get an energy off of this dreamy revelation? Do we need to? I think we need to ordinary rod to try and get it back. Let's do both. Uh, we will throw the pincers back in. And we will throw the grass energy back in. If we dreamy revelation into an energy here. Okay. Quick ball's good. Quick ball's good. Because we can turn that into a Dedene, I think. If we've got one left. Let's put both of these grass energies onto the pincer first, though. Then we can put the air balloon down and then quick ball. Hopefully we have a draw card and we do. The Dene. So we're looking for one energy. If we get lucky and get one energy, we give ourselves a chance to win this game. And we have one. Okay, here we go. So, retreat. Into the pincer. Guillotine hug. Heads. Heads. Yes, come on. Okay. Okay, I'm concerned, by the way. This is one of my... This is So you know, this is one of the first games I've played. I'm concerned that it is going to be a lot harder to get another one. It's been exactly one hour, and I have still failed to win a second game with Pinsir. It's literally been an hour. Like, it was... What time is it now? It's like four o'clock? I think it's... Yeah, just a second. Yeah, it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. I've been playing this for an hour. An hour and a half since I made it. We just want to win. Is this Sparksy? Are we playing against... Okay, then. Okay, then. I think we're playing against Sparksy, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this is the one, then. I would like nothing more than to be able to beat him. Uh, let's attach the energy, let's play down the Glimwood Tangle, and then we can Marnie. We want to find ourselves all of our extra bits and bobs. 
Um, there's another pincer. I like that. We've got a Dedene as well. Uh, we may uh, we may actually quick ball that away. It looks like this is ADP. Let's get rid of that Dedene. We do not want our opponent to more while that into the uh, into the field of play. Let's in fact let's throw all of these cards down. Uh, we will leave it at that and then guillotine hug, guillotine hug, tails, tails. Okay, this is this is the way it's been going. Heads. <sighs> It's been heads, tails every single time I flipped that coin for the last hour. Okay. Could this be it? If Sparksy is playing ADP, which it appears that he is. I mean, he's got an Empoleon. There's not many straight Zashian decks that play uh, that play Empoleon as well. If he is playing ADP, then there's a chance here that he, instead of attacking with Brave Blade, instead decides to use the GX attack. Either are acceptable for me if he uses the if he uses Brave Blade and takes a knockout, then he isn't GXing. We can potentially remove all of the energy from play if we get another pincer powered up. And if he goes into the ADP, then we get a chance to attack with the pincer that we currently have. Which is big. So it's uh it's a good thing he missed. I would expect ADP to beat this deck 99% of the time. Here comes that ADP. Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia into play, and an attachment, but it's metal, so he's Brave Blading the active. Okay, so that means one prize taken. As long as we can get ourselves... In fact, we could, we could Great Catcher up the ADP. Let's do that. Let's Great Catcher up the ADP, because if we do manage to get the knockout, and I'm gambling on that, if we do manage to get the knockout... Oh my goodness, this is, uh, this is bad. If we do manage to get the knockout, then it's going to be very difficult for him to win the game overall. Let's grab another pincer. Uh, then we're going to detonate. We're going to try our very best here. We need to find a bunch of energy. And that is a bunch of energy. All we need now is... Let's just get rid of... I think we can get rid of the boss, right? That seems fine. Let's thin. We'll grab the Elder Goss. We just need to find Cherim off of this Great Ball. Come on. Okay. Right. We've given ourselves as good a chance as any. We spring bloom and energy onto a pincer. We attach the twin. We dreamy revelation. We grab the great ball. That's the better card of those two. Then we can retreat into pincer. Please. Just double heads. Give me double heads. One. Oh. Flip again. Double heads. Just give me double heads. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this is how the this is how the world ends, ladies and gents. This is how it ends, because there is there's only so much you can do when you're relying on luck. Like if I had a flip double heads, then that game is almost certainly ours. But now we find ourselves in such a bad position. It looks like energy switch here. If he finds a water energy, he can just ultimate ray and knock out the pincer, which means we need to find more energy. I mean, if he does Ultimate Ray, at least then he's not a seeing, which is good. He's not using Altered Creation GX, which, for those who don't know, increases the amount of prize cards you take by one for every knockout. So this pincer would be worth two. We've already used all four of our pins. He's missed! Okay. Will. Will, you have to give us... The chance to knock this ADP out. We want a heads flip. Second one was tails. We would like to flip again. We want a heads flip. Please. Come on. Okay. Alright. Take the prizes. Settle down. As the game is not over yet. Because you have to take one more prize. And your opponent needs to take five. Now that seems like a very difficult thing for them to do, but they can knock out the pincer for two prizes. No, they haven't AC'd. I forgot that he'd missed the AC. Okay. Is this the AC coming here? We're gonna see a retreat into the energy switch. Okay, so this is AC. We have two turns. We have two. We have two turns. We have two turns to try and get this to happen. Okay, Marnie is fantastic. Let's play it. Actually, we should uh, we should probably thin first. Let's get rid of the Mew. Don't need it. 
grab out something that we don't want to draw with the Marnie, like Cherubi. We don't want to draw it, let's get it out of the deck, put it to the bottom. We'll Marnie. All we really need is to set up another pincer. It looks like we've got an energy for them, which is good. We've also got an air balloon that we can use. Uh, we can put that on the Dedene or the Cherim. I think the Dedene seems fine. Then we go for it. Heads and tails. Flip again. Heads. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Come on. Just give me the win. This <laughs> is so annoying. Okay. Okay. They attach. He could gust out the Dedene if he's got the boss in hand, but I think the best play for him is to knock the pincer out. We promote the Jirachi if that happens. We research. We find the energy. In fact, we might even go for the, um, we might even try for the will off of the Jirachi, which is possible. We could get it, but we do need the energy. Okay, so they've just gone to knock out the pincer. We've got two will in the discard pile, but there's plenty of energy left. Doesn't look like our opponent has that much energy left. So we have to knock this ADP out right now, because if we don't, they're going to boss the Dedene. We've found an energy. Okay. Let's Spring Bloom. We'll put the energy on the pincer. Then I'm going to research. We just need one more. We've got one more energy. Okay. It comes down to this. Let's, let's set all of our pincers up just in case. Just in case he can't gust the Dedene. But I almost guarantee he definitely can. There's a will. Oh my goodness. So next turn. If he doesn't win next turn, we've at least got a chance. But this is do or die right here. Let's go. Guillotine hug. Two heads, please. Oh my god. Okay, flip again. Two tails. It's going to be two heads this time. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's over. It's finally over. I don't have to play the deck anymore. <laughs> I've composed myself, I've settled back down, and I've ticked Pincer off the OG150 challenge. That was a deck that I was not looking forward to using, but have now completed. And we are starting to tick quite a few of these fellas off. Like, there's a lot still to go, but I think you'll find that there are more ticks on this page now than there are no ticks. And, and frankly, that's the way that this is headed, because at the moment I've got more members than, than I could possibly count on all of my little fingers. There's just too many of them. Dadbot, Azazel, and Taco, thank you very much for being Ascended, Sableyes, Fernando, Yolo, Steven, Ty, Agent, Abel, Austin, Josiah, Andy, Exonix, Rob Z, and Caster PD. Thank you for your ongoing support, as well as all those people in white. Thanks, Corey. You're, you're new. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate it. As well as all of my regular Sableye members. If you'd like to become one, there's a link in the description. There's a join button. Click that and support the channel if you dare. And I think I'm going to go and have a nap because that was a tough, tough couple of hours. Thanks everyone for coming along and I'll see you next time for more from the Sableyes.